Twenty-five years ago, the New Deal of President Franklin D. Roosevelt was four years old, and the Democratic leader was running for a second term as chief executive. Mr. Roosevelt took office for his first term in the midst of a paralyzing depression and inaugurated a series of public works to relieve unemployment. His opponent in the 1936 election campaign was Alf Landon, a governor of Kansas, who carried the Republican banner. As Mr. Landon posed with his family, more than 50 million people went to the polls and returned Mr. Roosevelt to office with an unprecedented endorsement of his policies. Alf Landon was swapped in a landslide that saw the president win 46 of 48 states. Only Maine and Vermont voted Republican. Election night at the president's home in Hyde Park, New York, was an evening of triumph as neighbors crowded around to offer cheers and congratulations. He was to go on to be elected twice again, an unprecedented honor. In Times Square, the celebration went on through the night as tens of thousands screamed themselves hoarse. The conquering hero returned to Washington to more cheers. Throngs lined the 20 blocks from the railroad station to the White House for an ovation to the man who garnered more electoral votes than any presidential candidate in history. But there were grim days ahead. Already there were rumblings of unrest in Europe that were to erupt into war and bring new burdens to the presidency.